What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian and you're watching Flake Garage and today we're going to have a, a bit of a mod that you know we usually do everything ourselves here but I want to get my valve covers painted. I want to get them done right so I'm going to take them to a place that's going to powder coat them for me and then we're going to swap them into the trucks. I think it's going to look good. They're going to make them uh, the engine bay just pop a little bit more. So I'm going to show you here the valve covers and then show you where we're going to take them. So let me pull them out. They were ready to go. I got my other one here. We're going to swap the valve covers for both trucks. And I want to show you this valve cover, guys, because this is a rare valve cover. I have not seen any other valve cover like this, except for one other one. Um, basically, our buddy Grant had this one, and uh, he had two of them. So he was kind enough to give me one uh, on a trade and that way I can put this one on my 87 Mazda. It looks like it's from a Kia, as you can see there. Uh, but I have searched for a Kia Lona and nothing has popped up. So I really don't know where this cover came from. I don't know what model it went to. Maybe it was on a Sportage, uh, considering they seem to be a popular swap. Um, I don't know. I only seen this one. I seen another cover that says Mazda on it that uh, another close friend here has. Uh, and then I seen another one that says Magnum, but I believe the Magnums are Japan only, so they're even harder to find as well. So the Magnum and this Kia Lona cover are the rarest covers I've seen so far. So if you know anything about them, guys, please let me know in the comments. I think it'll be cool to know if you guys have seen this before. If not, uh, just write it down there. We would like to hear from you guys. And then we have our regular valve cover here. This is basically what you'll find on most models. Like I said, the one my buddy has that says Mazda, somehow says just Mazda on this area. Uh, I believe I might have a photo of it, so I'll, I'll pop it up here on the screen if I do. Uh, but yeah, we are, they are nice and clean, as clean as I could get them. Uh, so thankfully the guys at the powder coating place are gonna basically uh, run it through the process that they need to, get them extra clean and nice and prepped for the job. Uh, and we're going to some local guys here that I hope they're gonna do a very good job. And then we'll show you guys their work in a little bit. So let's go over there to drop them off. Got Brian here with me. We're gonna take a little road trip and hopefully they'll do a great job on this. Let's do it. Yeah. What's up guys? So we are now here at the coding place. Uh, our buddy Felix told us about this place. He hooked us up with Anthony, which is the guy that runs here at the coding place. And he's an awesome dude. He's been talking to us about everything they do here. They do a little bit of everything uh, on this shop. So we'll link you guys to it if you guys want to come check it out if you are in the houston area this is going to be a great place to bring your stuff into real cool dude and then we have our valve covers here in place so we told them the plan we're not going to tell you guys we'll show you guys once it's done but they're going to take care of everything here uh sandblast them get them nice and clean take off any extra stuff that i might have forgotten to take off and put some nice coating in place and they have a pretty awesome shop here uh got brian here they got everything here, the oven, the rack to coat everything. And I mean, look at this, this place is huge. We got some cool cars here, nice little two old school trucks here. They have an, what is that, an S4, S14? Maybe? S14, I think. S14, I think, over there on the lift. Nice little Hummer over here. And guys, I gotta show you this truck. They're doing this Baja style Chevy that, just wait till you see this. Check out that carbon fiber on it. It is a full skin. They're doing the whole bed. We just saw the truck outside. The truck has brand new fenders in place. I mean, that just looks beautiful, guys. That is awesome. They're gonna be doing this. Uh, he was telling us about it. It's gonna be awesome. And we might see it maybe when we come back. We might not see it, who knows? We're gonna have to uh, find out. But I think they're doing some great job here. We're pretty excited to leave our valve covers in here in place. Uh, Brian was talking to them because they might do some painting too, so. Yeah, I might, I might consider getting my truck painted here. Uh, the quality of work seems very, very nice. Uh, I'm very content with what I'm seeing. So, yeah, I might be seeing my truck soon painted, so. <laughs> Who knows? We're gonna, we're gonna see if maybe we're bringing them. I mean, I can show you guys they have, I don't think I'll walk in there out of respect, but look at that, they got a nice little old school bug he told us they're doing a full restoration on it look at that bright yellow classic volkswagen uh so yeah guys we are pretty excited about this we're going to leave the bob covers with them hopefully they're going to do an awesome job we're going to come pick them up a little bit later and then show you guys how they look take them back home 
and install them on the trucks. So stay tuned for that here in a second. We'll see you guys in a minute. Let's do it. nice and rare kia cover looks nice and white and then we have the other ball cover here looking nice and red and that is looking sweet anthony did an awesome job on these covers i couldn't be more excited about them uh, i know this is white super bright here on the camera hopefully you guys can see it good but basically this bow cover is going to go right into my 87 Mazda. i think it's going to make the engine bay pop just give it a little extra mm, riser touch to it perhaps uh, so it's gonna look great. The only problem I have right now is that I do need to get a slightly different bow cover gasket for this for this cover because uh, unlike the Mazda ones, this ones on the back have this. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys. It has those little tabs there where the holes go, where uh, the regular cover does not have that. So unfortunately, the bow covers uh, gaskets that I have right now are not gonna work. Doug, Doug. In the meantime, right before we go and pick that up, and hopefully they have it at the store ready for us, we are going to switch this one because this one is ready to go. We have a bow cover gasket for this one. So the white truck, the white Mazda is about to get a nice little upgrade. Probably the nicest upgrade uh, that it's had since I picked up the truck. It's going to make that engine bay pop as well. Uh, so I'm very excited to swap it out. So let's just jump up there to the white Mazda and let's start swapping this one on. All right, guys, so we are over here on the ADA Mazda, and I mean, look at that. That's just going to make this engine bay pop so good. It's going to look great. Uh, it's going to make everything else look so dirty compared to it, uh, but I'm excited for it. So basically, we are here. We are about to start taking this one off, and it's really easy. You just need a 10 millimeter socket, and then get all the bolts around it. And we should be able to take this off, take anything that's connected to it, and we should be good to go. So let's do it. Okay guys, now that we have swapped everything over that we needed to our new bow cover, like my filter on the top, the uh, oil cap, we have a brand new gasket on the bottom. And we swapped also for our PVC bob in here. So this cover is ready to be installed into the 88 Mazda. Uh, don't forget guys, we should use a little bit of a black RTV gasket sealer. Let me pull it up here. Um, so this is what I'm gonna be using is the ultra black gasket maker uh, this is oil resistance we are going to put just a little bit on the corners uh, mainly on those arches uh, that's where you want to have a little bit just so it doesn't leak any oil in, in the future or anything like that i also came in here and cleaned part of the uh, edges of this i want to make sure it's all clean and nice so our gasket can make a nice contact and seal everything off so now that everything's ready on my side and everything ready is over here on the engine side we are about to just start installing it so let's do it So now that we have put everything in here, we put our valve cover, we swapped everything that we needed, like the PCB valve, uh, our filter, our oil cap and everything. I started putting my bolts in place where they go. And then we're gonna come in here and hit them uh, with the torque wrench. We do not wanna use power tools for that. You don't wanna strip them or break them or anything like that. Trust me, I've been there and it sucks having to take those out. So uh, with that said, I think the torque spec for this is 36 inches, uh, 36 inch pounds. 
Uh, so that is one thing to keep in mind is it's not foot pounds do not torque at the 36 foot pounds You're gonna break those bolts uh, So once I get my torque wrench for this we are basically all good to go here and look at that that just looks awesome It is way too nice of a ball cover for this truck honestly uh, especially for this engine bay being so dirty and and kind of uh, rusted and whatnot, but it does make the engine bay pop, which is kind of awesome. And since I was doing the white valve cover for my 87 Mazda, I decided to just might as well do this one at the same time. Now we're gonna go get a gasket for the other one and then we'll swap over to put the white one on there and I'll show you guys how it looks. Check it out guys, and this is how that rare Kia cover looks on the 87 B2000. I think it looks awesome. You can see my header there shining a little bit here. Look at that. I am super happy with how it turned out. I think it makes the engine bay pop a little bit. We might have to maybe sprinkle a couple other white parts around here to make it look even better. But that looks awesome. I'm very happy with how it turned out. So there you have it guys, that's how both valve covers turned out on the Mazdas. We have the white one on the 87 uh, B2000 and we have the red one on the 88 B2200. They both came out amazing. Big shout out to Anthony at the coating place for hooking us up with the powder coating. He's also the one that did the powder coating on Brian's uh, hard body. So if you haven't checked out that video, check out the roll pan installation. It came out great too. It's actually the whitest part of the truck, which is kind of funny, but we're excited to make the rest of it look great. Um, some quick kind of summary tips on this. If you guys do find a Kia valve cover for your uh, B2000 or B2200, make sure you get in the Kia valve cover gasket because that's gonna make installation great. Uh, otherwise, the, the factory Mazda B2000 or B2200 valve cover is slightly different, so it's not gonna allow you to install it. Make sure you're also adding some RTV there on the edges to prevent any oil spills. Uh, you don't wanna be basically leaking oil after you install your back cover. But yeah, just quick tips on that. Uh, that's all we have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what we're doing, please don't forget to hit that like button or hit that subscribe button. And hopefully we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.